toothpaste I recommend. The recommendation today would prioritize safety, proven efficacy and broad spectrum plaque control. Stannous fluoride based. Why? Antibacterial, anti-gingivitis, anti-sensitivity and proven caries reduction. It is safe, broad spectrum, ADA and European approved. The examples being Parodontax, complete protection, Colgate Total Advanced Health, which is Stannis Fluoride version post-2019, Sensodyne Sensitivity and Gum, Crest Gum Detoxify or Pro Health, Zinc-based or Zinc Citrate Toothpaste. Why? It reduces plaque and bad breath. Mild antibacterial activity, good option for gingivitis prone individuals. Example being Colgate Weight Shakti, Colgate Herbal with Zinc Citrate. Zendium Bioscience Toothpaste which has Zinc plus Enzymes. Nano Hydroxyapatite or Arginine based Remineralizing Toothpaste. Why? Because it helps rebuild enamel. Excellent for caries prevention and sensitivity. Best for children, adolescent and high risk caries patient. Example being Theodent Classic, Vantage Toothpaste, Apagard Premium, Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief which has 8% Arginine, Boca Ella Mint, Fluoride Only Paste, Standard Safe Everyday Use. Why? Proven caries protection with minimum risk. Avoid antibacterial marketing claims unless Tannus Fluoride is the agent used. The examples being Colgate Cavity Protection which has 1450 ppm fluoride, Sensodyne Daily Protection, Pepsodent Germicheck non triclosan versions. For children under less than 6 years of age, use only age appropriate fluoride levels which should fall between 500 to 1000 ppm. No triclosan, no whitening, no antimicrobial agents in this age group. The example being Colgate Kids 2 to 5 years, Mama Earth Kids Toothpaste, Pigeon Toothpaste. What to avoid? Any product listing triclosan, TCS or Igrasan. Old Colgate Total which is pre-2019 versions if still sold on the e-commerce sites. Unbranded or expired tubes with unclear ingredient lists. Don't forget to save it. Don't forget to share it. Let everyone benefit. Take care.